Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here's a neat little project that I'm going to do. This is a quick video of a ship in a bottle uh, project. I picked up this little kit at a hobby store. It's uh, cost me $15, and it's the Constitution. You know, it's something I always want to do. I've never done, so you know, I do have plans of making something a little more complex and bigger. You know, as time permits. So, but I thought I'd learn a little bit about how they do it in uh, by picking up just a little kit. It'd be kind of fun. There's an old tradition goes back to the early 19th century, possibly earlier, where um, you know whalers and fishermen on, on boats actually used to make these, you know, because they had they'd have a lot of spare time on the ships, you know, when they were sailing. So, and here in New England, you know, that's an old tradition, and I've seen a few of these, and they can really be fantastic. So I thought I'd you know make a little kit and learn a little bit about how to do it, and so I could you know develop my skills and make make a make some maybe something a little more fancier. But uh, let me show you a couple of things. <clears throat> I'm really interested by what I see in this kit because, you know, of course you get a bottle and it's got a wide mouth bottle, which is, I thought, you know, makes it easier in a cork, so once it's done, you can cork it. And just a few pieces, and <clears throat> there's no sails. I was hoping there was some sails in this kit, but <clears throat> there's not. There's just the rigging. And, uh, you know, there's a popsicle stick, some uh, thin dowels, and some uh, toothpicks, some string, some thread, a little bit, a few metal pieces, and you know, a ship pill that's kind of pre-carved. It's pre-carved. I looked through the directions, and I'm going to have to carve it some more to make it more ship-like. And an interesting thing about a ship in a bottle like this is, <clears throat> you pretty much assemble the whole thing in a way that all the masts fold down backwards on the ship, and then you insert that in there with strings attached to it, and then you and and when the glue sets, then you pull the strings and the the the, the sails and the masts and everything. Uh, are pulled vertical into their final resting position, which is kind of interesting. So that's what gives the illusion. So I'll show you a couple of things with this, but just, you know, if you're interested, I, I, I'll, I have a little section on our website for ships in a bottle that I'll be creating and working on somewhat. So you can maybe order a couple, or give it a try, or see some of this stuff and see some pictures. Uh, thanks. Here's a quick look at the ship. Coming along nice. It's tough, I'll tell you, this miniature working on miniature stuff like this is difficult. Um, one of the big things is having a number 60 drill little tiny drill bit it's like I think that's like 40 thousandths of an inch thick so I mean you can get them they're not rare but you know getting a drill so all the mass and stuff like that can go right the little black things are supposed to be cannons so I'm gonna paint this up now this is the construction without the masts is done although I do have the masts and I have them all done drilling holes in those too is tricky but um, now I'm gonna paint it and I'll show it to you painted Okay, I'm just about done building this little ship to go in the bottle. And I want to show you basic, the basic secret or trick to what it is all about. The technique is to build it in a way so that it's collapsible. Just like that. See, it's collapsible. So then, and that takes some time. It took me quite a few hours to get this right, wiring up all the little um, rigging, all the little strings and everything for the different masts and everything. So for a, such a small project, it takes an awful lot of work. But, uh... So you fold it up very carefully, and if this had sails, it'd be even more difficult and more work. And then uh, you put it in the bottle, and you glue it in place, and then you would pull on the string from outside the bottle, just like this, to raise all the rigging. And then a little dab of glue and tie it in a knot, and uh, cut it as you, best you can by reaching in the bottle with the tool, and you're done. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be... Uh, gluing this into the bottle and then raising it in right inside and the project will be done. So tough project, a lot of work. And uh, the instructions for this particular one weren't too good. I had to do a lot of improvising on my own. But I uh, came out pretty good and pretty happy with it. But very detailed, small work. So quite a challenge. I was really surprised by how uh, difficult it will, it, it's been to do for me. Spent quite a few hours on it. So I will be doing another one though. I, I do plan on making a bigger one that's more complex, but this was a learning one for me. So if you want to learn how to do something like this, you know, pick up a little kit. And I have uh, resources on my website for this at uh, stormthecastle.com. Thanks.